Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare My 101. I usually do these particular series of knives from inside, but it is crazy warm outside, so I figured I'd come outside and get some fresh air. Today, we're going to look at another knife in the Defensive Knives series, and this is not a big knife, but it's, it is what its name entails. It is a last-ditch knife, and you can get one for less than 17 bucks. So today we're going to take a look at the K-Bar LDK, or Last Ditch Knife, so don't go away. So, the LDK. This is a knife that has been around a long time, but I've never felt the need or the urge to get it until I started to do this series. And also what helped made me decide to do it is it's made by somebody I know, uh, Greg Elifritz. He's a cop here in the city of Columbus. He's a TDI trainer. He's got a uh, awesome blog, real smart guy. Uh, active response uh, what the heck is it I'm gonna put it on the screen but uh, he says a lot of stuff that most people will agree with that being said he came up with this little knife I think because he likes to hang out in really sketchy places he goes around the world he likes to visit third world countries and stuff like that and he was looking for a very small blade that you could conceal on your body it could be used for like an escape and evasion knife or as the name implies, a last ditch knife. Whatever reason, you've got this one last little pokey device to help get you out of a sticky situation. Now one of the reasons I did not care to look at this knife before is the sheath. It's a plastic sheath and it's like, you know, okay, you gotta you could wear it around your neck, but then it would be flat side out if you're right-handed. You could lace it up in your boots. You could do a bunch of different stuff, but eh, I don't know. But then recently I started applying this thing to a lot of my knives and finding that this really helps with some knives that are hard to carry, make them really easy to carry. So you're going to see this clip on like the next three knives that I show and it's this Night Eyes Total Eclipse. And this, these clips, they cost about nine bucks on Amazon, and they've got an adhesive backing. It's extremely strong hole. It's not gonna come off. Uh, it's self-locking, so you put it on in your pants pocket or something like that. You've gotta push this down in order to make it come off. So having this clip on this knife just opens up a world of possibilities of places that you could quickly and easily put it on your body. I mean, I've had it in my pocket. I've had it stuffed in the little cut holes inside my hoodies, you know, back pants pocket, on the outside of my belt, on the inside of my belt, on the inside of my waistband. I mean, it's pretty much limitless. I've also tried putting adhesive uh, like safety pins on the back of it and then you could pin them like up inside your hoodie. You could hide these things. They're, they're so small and so light you can hide these things just about anywhere. And even if you're just using it as a small utilitarian knife, it's a great package opener. It's extremely sharp, it's extremely pointy it's a nice little knife it's not something that this is going to be like your primary go-to knife this is like the backup to your backup that's so light it just disappears on your body so being that these things run about 16 dollars i thought they were worth a shot and once i got the clip on it i really like this thing this is not something there's a lot of different things that you can do with it as far as you know demonstrable tests but it does come with a pretty sharp edge. So I've been cutting stuff with it, so I probably need to touch it up. Yeah. 
the steel the steel is what was it 9 cr 13 it's it wasn't the usual like 13 mov uh i'll put that on the screen it wasn't something i normally see made in the great state of taiwan uh for k bar so yeah this is one of those k bars it's not a us i mean look at it. look how small it is it's not a usa made knife but it does what it's intended to do so i the main reason i wanted to show this is just it's something that i bought for myself as i experiment with all these different types of urban carry knives uh, for different reasons it's changing pretty much every day i got one or two that you haven't seen yet that i'm absolutely in love with that does not leave my side might be in the next two or three videos but this thing uh, since I added this clip the other day, uh, to me, this clip makes the product. Without the clip, it's like, eh, you know, pff, you got to figure out some way to attach it. But with this clip, super, super easy. So if that's something that you're interested in, now, again, I don't know what's legal where you are or whatever. I'm, I'm not the legal guy. Generally speaking, like in Ohio, knives have to be open. That being said, you know, it's a small knife. Who knows what I do with it sometimes. But I think it's got its place, and I'm rather surprised at it because, honestly, I looked at it. I've, look, I've looked at this. this thing's been, like I said, it's been around for a long time. It didn't jump out at me, but now that I have it, I actually like this thing. So it's not a whole heck of a lot I can do with it except show it to you, give you my impressions of it, and whether or not I think it'd be useful to you. But again, if you're one other thing I wanted to add. Earlier I mentioned this is something that might be useful as like a escape and evasion knife. So I was looking at this thing you know escape and evasion is all about you know if you've ever watched jack richland stuff uh black scout survival it's about those little useful things that you can hide on your person that are going to be easily missed if you're ever quickly searched or frisked now this one way that i before i put the clip on the one way that i did set this up that i liked was with shock cord I basically ran shock cord here and then vertically on the back and around and then I tied it. So I was able to fit this onto a two inch belt like a Black Hawk uh, CQB belt and it disappeared behind the belt. But a little bit of the handle still stuck out. If you don't mind that, fine. But if you wanted to make this into like a really good escape and evasion type tool, you could easily take a Dremel, and I might get another one of these and show this later, and then just cut the bottom part of this handle off and round it off, sand it off so it's nice and smooth, and maybe put just a little piece of paracord right there in that hole. So this would be the, the total part, total sum of the handle. But there's a tiny little sharp blade that you can easily conceal behind your belt so if you're ever unlawfully detained or something, you need to try and cut yourself out of some, some uh, duct tape restraints or something like that. There, that fits perfectly behind your belt. And it would be very hard to detect that. With the handle the way it is though, that will come out a little bit from behind your belt. It's just something when I was looking at it and I was analyzing the design, it's like, okay, what else could I do with it? That's something that I thought of and something I'll, I might revisit uh, later on. So there you go, guys. That is the K-Bar LDK Last Ditch Knife. Sorry I've been away for you know a few days. I just flew back in yesterday. I've been down in Norfolk, Virginia for a while. So I'm getting my stuff back together. I'll be back uh, with more of the topics and the videos here coming in the next week. I'll be doing a lot of filming. So other than that, if you're interested in one of these, I do have them in the Amazon store. Link is in the description box below. And I'm told by Greg that if you purchase one of these, it puts about 25 cents into his retirement fund. So he's like, that's about what I make per knife on this. So if you want to throw Greg a quarter so he can retire one day, definitely 
pick one of these knives up. Other than that, uh, check all the uh, links in the description box below, and I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.